Welcome back to Nonsense and Nothingness, everybody. But this one is a little different. It's mini. Mini podcast. But for this one, what we're going to be doing... I'm Connor, by the way. What's up? Hey, everybody. Yeah, I'm Seth. I'm lame. Doesn't really matter. Connor's lame. Yeah, it's... We're all so lame. Good. We're all lame. Why are you even here? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we have this random topic generator. What we're going to do is we're going to randomly generate a topic. We have no idea what it's going to be, and we're just going to give... A quick and dirty opinion, whether it's dirty, con- opinion. dirty very dirty <laughs> uh, opinion yeah. or take or anything like that. It's going to be quick. It's going to be fun. Let's do it. Topic number one. Topic number one is lions. Lions, badass cats. Big cats. They're vicious. They have. Cl- I'm just describing it. Yeah, we've talked about we've talked about animals on this podcast before, but yeah, lions maybe specifically, lions absolutely. kick ass. They do. They also, do I would one million percent want a pet lion. If they were totally cool, if lions were cool with the whole human thing, right? I would have a pet lion for sure. It would just be expensive to feed. I mean, I would have to. I would (laughs) logistically speaking, with a lion, I would feel so bad if I just put it in the cage. Though I would want a safari for it, and I would want electrical fences that you can't see, so I don't feel bad about them. Yeah, that's yeah. Because I want to be. I want to be. I want to keep it on a safari. I want to own a lion from a distance, like. (laughs) Can I? Sp- I want to sponsor a lion. You want to sponsor a lion? Yeah. I bet. I bet that's a a program. A Contact Seth if you're a lion person out there. Okay. All right. Topic one done. Done. <laughs> topic number two. Pigeons. Oh, my dad owns a lot of pigeons. <laughs> yes, he does. He has a lot of. That's them. why are they both animals? And they're also that's really weird. It's but, random. Yeah. Um. Racing pigeons is a thing for those of you who did not know that out there. Pigeons are actually really cool. They can you you can drop them off in the middle of nowhere somewhere they've never been and they will find their way back home like 8 to 9 times out of 10. <laughs> so like every 10 you send out eight come back and it's like, well i mean ugh. it's probably a little bit more of a success rate than that when they have each other to rely on right but if it's just one by it's like humans you know if you're in a city that you've never been in before you're like ah oh, shit i guess we turn left and then your friend is like no i remember this part it's definitely right mm-hmm. pigeons are like that i'm are sure those pigeons the same ones as the ones that are just like in the city pecking at french fries mostly but there's been selective breeding that's gone on in homing oh, pigeons because okay. they're technically domesticated to a degree. Okay. Um, so the selective breeding has changed them a little bit as far as color and genetics goes and stuff like that. But uh, there, you can tell the difference from a genetic perspective between domesticated homing pigeons and wild pigeons in the park from a scientific perspective. Okay. But yeah, pigeons were a big deal in world in wars, in like the Civil War and World yeah, War One because you would send messages from the battlefield back as well. Pigeons, a lot of people don't give them the respect that they deserve because they're ugly birds that everybody sees all the time. Mm-hmm. But I shouldn't say ugly birds, that'll upset some people, but I, I think they look pretty derpy they're pretty derpy yeah they're pretty derpy and their eyes are there's one eye on each side of their head like what it's like where the ears are on a yeah person. it's like, like what are eyes. you yeah anyways anyway pigeons pigeons you ready for topic number three let's do it lighthouses <laughs> i i have nothing to explain I think here. they're wonderful uh-huh um no that's actually one of the symbols of, of mississippi is the biloxi lighthouse it is um and i think lighthouses are important but probably less important with navigation but let's dive deeper here okay you are the lighthouse guy not like you specifically but if you live in a lighthouse that kind of sucks man your job just got right by flashlights <laughs> yeah How you're, bad is that you're out of a job one but if we go way back you never leave work <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, I guess, yeah. Right? Okay, I, yeah. You never leave work. You're just in that lighthouse yeah. all day long. And it's it's a high-pressure job. If it goes out. If it goes out. It's on you, buddy. Yeah, if, it, if things go sideways, that's on your head. Yeah. So lighthouse men, women, managers, that's lighthouse like men. That's one of the most menial tasks that could absolutely be catastrophic if you yeah. fall at it if you fall if you take an impromptu nap and hurricane katrina's rolling through and just whew, gone <laughs> done 
and everyone died, and it's Game your over. fault because the sailors didn't know where yeah. the land was. But talk about being automated out of your job. That, that hit you guy. hard. Like I, I, I'm just gonna <laughs> go ahead and say it. Your, your your future probably was not bright. If at the wow, peak, you are an asshole. You were a lighthouse <laughs> lighter. Have you seen Aquaman? No. I'm pretty sure they lived at a white. Or his dad was a White House, and he hooked up with this hot girl, babe from. She was basically a god. So okay, cool. Maybe people in lighthouses have secrets that we would never know. I bet they would know about the mermaids. I bet they would. Next topic: <laughs> snakes. We're getting all the animals. Saw today. a five foot snake yesterday. What kind? Black snake. Was so it? it's not poisonous. Okay. They're a black runner or whatever they were, at approximately four to five feet. It was really big. Did it scare you? Or were not, you more like, I wow, don't, I don't have a, no, I definitely wasn't there. I don't have, I neither am scared of snakes, nor am I not scared of snakes. I'm in that point where like, I don't care about them, but I don't want to touch them or be near them. You know? Yeah. There's that mutual respect. Yeah. Like I'm fairly indifferent. Okay. But I don't want to be around it. That's fair. That's fair. I would definitely... if it, Venomous snakes, I have a, a moral quandary with like keeping them alive. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, you know, I, I would shoot like dangerous I'm sure snakes. they do valuable things for the ecosystem. Like keep rodents under control. Or, okay, how about this? I would introduce a natural predator to slowly take them out from the inside. Okay. Like apparently bass eat um like poisonous water snakes like what? baby ones bass do yeah wow bass are badasses yeah that's why everybody it's keeps a badass them bass that's <laughs> so, yeah badass is actually just bass but longer wow <laughs> with a d in it <laughs> next topic criminals <laughs> what do you have to say about criminals are you soft on crime Connor? i I'm technically a criminal. I got a ticket once, so... Yeah, I speed all the time. Oh, shit. <laughs> that's dirty. Um, I mean, that's a that could go deep. It really could. You know, criminal it's like, justice, do we want to talk about our prison system? Mandatory minimums. There are tons of things to talk about here. Also, I don't know if you, on Netflix, have you ever seen the series Jailbirds or heard of it? I've heard of it. I haven't seen it, though. Um, I was on Netflix and I was just stro- scrolling through and you know how to like bring up the trailer if you stay on something too long or whatever. Netflix right. does that now. And it previewed it and these women were talking about their sentences and how the time works. Mm-hmm. And it's so confusing for people who aren't familiar with the legal system. Like a lot of the women, because it's all women, this, this focuses on, they don't know how long they have in prison. Really? Yeah, because and it's not because they're like, oh, stupid criminal. No, it's because they're like, well, my time is two timed and doubled because of this, but then you subtract that, and and it's like, whoa, that's yeah. crazy. It's probably hard to keep up with. So yeah, um, criminals There's... are criminals. Uh, I, I support our police. Next up, <laughs> politics. Ooh. Wow. What do you identify as, Seth? Straight white male or no? Yeah, <laughs> yeah um, no. I don't know. Definitely, definitely right of center. Um, and then there are probably a few issues that I'm more willing to 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 hear some some uh-huh. left leaning arguments about. Um, but I don't know. Economy, family values, a lot of things, right leaning. Um. If you had to give yourself a political party label, what would it be? Like you had to, someone's holding a gun to your head. Man, probably mainstream Republican, honestly. I don't want to say libertarian. Yeah. Because I, I feel like they're kind of weird. I would probably be libertarian. Really? That's probably what I would be. I, Actually, I just, that is what I would be. Yeah. Just straight libertarian? But I don't know that I, I don't know that I identify with everything on that realm, and I don't really like the whole... I'm just... I'm a, I'm I'm kind of a moderate. I'm socially kind of liberal in several ways. I'm economically pretty conservative from yeah. a political perspective. And honestly, I feel like that's a pretty that's a pretty popular viewpoint like down here in, in like our age group. Yeah, in it's our like age group it is. Very like right leaning on economy, but they're and especially our generation do like, some trickle down economics, but let the gays get married. Right. <laughs> and, and honestly, yeah. the gays getting married is is a, a libertarian issue. Oh, for honestly. sure. 
Um, and then the left-leaning issue would be, you know, force the religious bakers to do gay weddings. Yeah. And that's something that I'm not down with. I'm not down with either. So, uh, I don't know. Because I you can find a... Because guess what? If... There are no bakers in your area who want to do a gay wedding. You just found the holy grail of a business. Boom. You have no competition. Yeah. You become the baker and bake for all the gay weddings. Yep. And you become a great... Cake boss. C- cake. Um, <laughs> gay cakes. Gay cakes. Welcome to gay cakes. Welcome to gay cakes. <laughs> How many would take your order? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Next topic. Politics to gay cakes. Freaks. What, what kind? What does that mean? I mean, like, there's so many ways you could use that word. Oh, not to marginalize any groups. Okay, <laughs> great way to, to <laughs> qualify any sentence. But people who wear tails in like day to day life, like you're not going to Comic Con, you're not, and this happens at school. This happens at state, right? Have you ever noticed that? Really? I walked into Fresh one day, a cafeteria on campus. I look over at a booth, and there's a whole community of people wearing cat ears and noses. Their faces are painted with whiskers, and they're like college-age students. They have tails and mittens on. They were, And I had seen a couple people. I'd seen them as individuals across campus a little bit, but they had like a meeting. Is this a consistent thing? I don't know if it's consistent, but it happened like twice. So mild. You sure this isn't just like a cats themed day party? Like this? No, is... it happened at Fresh, and it, and this was you know fresh. how you can see people and you're like, oh, you're wearing a costume, right? No biggie. But you can also see someone and you're like, oh, this is your lifestyle. Was it like a it little... was a lifestyle okay. vibe? Okay, they were like t- touching each other oh my in God. the way it's cats would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they okay. just they looked weird, and to me. If you do that, <laughs> you're kind of a freak. No judgment, but you're kind of a freak. Hey, but if you're going to Comic Con or whatever, mm-hmm. that's cool. You do you because that's your vibe. Or and a that's costume what you're party. Into. There, there yeah. are plenty of, of normal reasons to wear a, a cat outfit, I guess. But yeah. Honestly, I, I know what you're talking about, and I've I've heard of these people, the, the furries. Yeah. <laughs> The furries. The they, furries are weird. They're people too, but they're, the, they're, they're, it's a yeah. little freaky. And especially weird. to indulge in, in a cafeteria that half of the student body goes to on a daily. If you're a furry, though. Yeah. I want to talk to you. Because I want to. Email us. Like, no, email us at nonsense in nothingness at gmail.com. Okay. But I'm just interested because maybe I could learn something. I'm all about knowledge. I agree. I love your perspective on that. I mean, like, Just I think it's weird, but it, maybe they could tell me something and I'd be like, oh, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving on. And our last topic, vanilla. <laughs> I had some vanilla ice cream about an hour and a half ago. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Vanilla. Um, great ice cream flavor. One of the best. <laughs> beautiful bean coming out of that vanilla Is plant. Is it beautiful? It's like, br- it's like a brown stick. But it smells so good. It does, but isn't vanilla weird in the sense that there's cheap vanilla, but then there's also vanilla that you can spend whatever you want to spend on it. Yes. Like, it could be super expensive. It can also be pretty inexpensive. Yeah, there are amazingly developed flavors in vanilla. But also, vanilla is is a, is a lie. Okay. <laughs> so what I mean by this, if you ask any child to smell vanilla... Mm -hmm. and they don't know what it is they're gonna say that must be incredibly sweet i want to drink some i want to take a sip of some okay right but then you do and it's like kind of bitter it's just it doesn't taste good right but it smells that's why we put vanilla in things because like our olfactory likes the smell of it and then if you douse it in sugar then like you cut the bitterness and it is sweet so it's good right Right, but I think the essence of vanilla is an amazing it's an amazing flavor because it's so palatable for so many people. I yeah, mean, you're right. It's literally a derogatory term. You're right. It's vanilla. Like he's, he's a vanilla guy. That means he's just plain and like everybody thinks of him as a B plus guy. Yeah, but people shit on vanilla and they shouldn't because it's good. I agree. Like it's just good. Sometimes there's some deluxe vanilla out there that's just incredible. And you might like vanilla might not ever be your first choice, but if Someone said, hey, 
you want some vanilla ice cream, most people are going to say, sure, because I like vanilla. Yeah. But you might not choose it. And if you if you are serving ice cream at a party, what are you going to pick? You're going to pick chocolate and vanilla. Because yeah, everyone likes some chocolate. Some people like chocolate, and the people that don't will be happy with it. No that. one's out there going picking out pistachio. Mint chocolate chip. Which is I do love mint flavor. chocolate it's chip. It's the shit. It's, it's so good. good. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway. Anyways, I guess that's it. <laughs> welcome back to, or welcome to, for the <laughs> first time. It's getting late. Many nonsense and nothingness. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let us know. Leave us some feedback. We'd love to hear what you think about our, our shotgun style approach to our topics and our mini episode. And we'd love to hear from you. Yeah, sounds good. All right. We'll see you next time.